Welcome, everyone. Um, this is a very exciting day. I am Amy Ezell with the Arkansas United Methodist Church, with the Conference for the Arkansas United Methodist Church and the Center for Communication. Um, you may be wondering why we didn't set up with this beautiful stage <laughs> instead of setting up in front of these boxes. Um, we're going to talk a little bit more, but Conway First is going to be a distribution center for us. And so we wanted to, with this very first shipment that we're going to talk a little bit more about in a minute, um, we wanted to be able to show you um, what is going to be happening and the uh, wonderful gifts, um, grants from the Methodist Foundation for Arkansas. So I'm going to have um, Reverend J.J. Galloway come and open us in prayer, please. Let us pray. God of us all, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for this opportunity to come and be your hands to those who, who need us. Thank you for all of your blessings in our lives, your son Jesus, all of the churches, the clergy and the laity. And we pray today for those who are sick, who are hurting throughout this community, our state, our nation, and your world, God. Heal them. Grant them to know your comfort and your peace. We ask a special blessing upon all the health care workers that are being your hands to those who are hurting. Bless them. Give them endurance, strength, courage, and grant them grace through this time. Be with us here today. Bless what we do so we may be a blessing to others. In your son Jesus' name, we ask all of these things. Amen. Thank you, JJ. And um, I am going to ask Reverend Wayne Clark, who is the president and CEO of the Methodist Foundation for Arkansas to come make an announcement. Um, his name is spelled W-A-Y-N-E-C-L-A-R-K. Well, good afternoon. It's a, a pleasure to be here and enjoy with what I get to announce. The Methodist Foundation for Arkansas began in 1963 to support Methodist churches in Arkansas, manage estate gifts that were left to churches and the foundation. Today we manage over 800 accounts. Annually, more than $4 million of earnings is returned to local United Methodist churches for ministries in those churches and their communities. In addition to the $4 million, $1 million annually is given in grants to help Methodist institutions, clergy, and lay leadership development and cause change for social justice issues. Last week, our grant committee met and approved a $50,000 grant to the Arkansas United Methodist Conference that will purchase masks, sanitizer, and cleaning solutions for every United Methodist Church in the state of Arkansas. This is the first time the foundation has ever provided a grant that will directly affect all 635 United Methodist Churches in the state. In addition to this $50,000 grant, since COVID-19, the foundation has made grants to United Methodist Church food pantries to distribute among those families who are experiencing food insecurity during these difficult times. And two additional grants have been made to the annual conference, Center for Communication, that will be used to provide 200 new websites at no cost for local churches for the next 24 months, streaming services, and AV equipment, to name a few things. The foundation is very blessed 
to be in a position to help carry out ministries in Arkansas that help the least of these. We want to, we, we want to do what we can for our part to bring people together safely and to get back to worship. I want to thank the grant committee that is led by Dr. Debbie Pfizer, our outgoing board chair, the Honorable Beth Deer, and our new incoming chair, Jenny Curris. I also want to thank the wonderful staff who helped make all of these ministries and grants possible. Finally, I want to thank the churches and the donors who put their faith and their trust in the foundation. The foundation's mission is to create and administer permanent charitable endowment funds to strengthen and expand Methodist Ministries for Arkansas. We hope that this grant, in that way we are being true to our mission and being safe together. Thank you. Thank you, Wayne. And now I would like to introduce to you Bishop Gary Muller. And for media, his name is spelled G-A-R-Y M-U-E-L-L-E-R. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Good afternoon, everyone. I am overjoyed and grateful to the Methodist Foundation of Arkansas for their generosity with these grants. About 10 weeks ago, life for the world was turned upside down. And in that intervening time, we have all had to adapt and learn and work together. And so the generosity of these grants and grants previously and to come are making a tremendous difference because those resources get spread out in churches and with people and touch the lives of countless numbers of people. I am a member of the Governor's Task Force on Economic Recovery and have been helping to draw up guidelines for faith communities. We take that all very seriously here in Arkansas, in the United Methodist Church. We want to be safer together. And the grants are going to make a tremendous difference in helping churches open safely when it is the proper time to open. The protection here, the PPE, the masks, will be available in every church for those who come and don't have a mask because we want people to be safe. And so that's part of what the grant is going to. As Wayne said earlier, the hand sanitizer is a must if we're gonna have safe reopening of churches as people enter and as they leave. And then of course the disinfectant is essential to wiping down surfaces. That money is getting translated into helping churches open safely and I dare say keeping some people alive. And we are very grateful for that. I have always been a person of faith and have believed in miracles. And I believe even more in miracles now. Because when Todd Burris was working to find these supplies, he's the Director of Administrative Services, his first word to me was, yeah, we're going to have a hard time finding the disinfectant, which are in one-gallon containers back here. 600 of them, one for every church. And then it is a miracle because those are the first supplies that he was able to acquire. So we're beginning to build our supplies here. They'll be adding the hand sanitizer and the masks and help these churches open safely so they can continue to help people grow closer to Christ, but also to serve their community. The three grants are making a difference in terms of our worshiping communities, in terms of helping those who receive food at food banks remain safe. When folks who are struggling come, they're able to get food but struggle to get the PPEs they need or cleaning supplies. 
one of the grants is going to help individual people do that. And then communication right now in this day and age has been incredible as churches have ramped up. We have churches now that are involved in online streaming, using their websites, Facebook Live, that did not know how to spell Facebook Live <laughs> before. It is an incredible thing to see, and we are going to have a far and broad reach. I am grateful to the Foundation, to Wayne, to the Grants Committee, to Dr. Pfizer, for the partnership that we have together in being safer together. As Bishop of the United Methodist Church in Arkansas, I am committed to doing everything I can to help us be safe. We will do that much better when we do it together. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bishop Muller. Thank you, Wayne. We, we appreciate you. Um, at this time, if anyone has any questions um, about specifics for um, any of the announcements that have been given, we will take any Q&A right now. If there are no questions, I think we were very, that's a good thing that we don't have questions. That means that we have been very thorough, so thank you. Um, I'm gonna ask Reverend Mark Norman to come and close us in prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you on this day for partnership. We thank you for the Methodist Foundation for Arkansas and the Arkansas Annual Conference. Each church, each the clergy and the laity, Lord, we thank you and praise you. And Lord, as we live in this new normal, uh, we are so thankful that uh, when we often are, are wondering what to do, you give us an opportunity to be able to stand together. Be with us as we continue to go forward. Bless these supplies as they bless your churches, as they bless your people uh, to be able to worship together. We ask all of this in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.